Hello and welcome to Color Multimedia Enterprises. My name is Luke Orson and as Tiannery and in this tutorial we are going to complete work on the camera. So obviously in the previous tutorial we started work and in this tutorial we're going to complete it. So we're actually going to have our own camera class. We're gonna do all our rendering in there and yeah. So without further ado let's get started okay so as mentioned in the introductory video what we will be taking a look at is making our camera class which i've just already set up and we will be taking a look at being able to render on screen based on the camera so what's basically going to happen is everything's going to be rendered by the camera we're going to have the camera set in the center of the screen so it's so that it's the main focal point of the game because obviously that's what we want it to be and we also want the camera to be a specific size a size so that when where we have the map um, ma the maximum width and the maximum height of the camera to be based on the number of tiles that we want to be limited and seen in the actual camera itself so in order to do that what we need to do is I'm going to set up a few variables here so I'm gonna have max width and these variables are basically going to be the maximum width and the maximum height of the camera that I want it to be so I'm just gonna say map the offset X which I should really modify the name of because that acts, that's actually uh, should really be something like cell width or something because that's, that would that would technically make more sense. <coughs> so max width is equal to map dot offset x times by fifteen. So we want it to be fifteen tiles wide and max height is going to be map dot offset y that's going to be multiplied by 12 so it'll be pretty much 15 tiles up and 12 tiles down obviously when we create this game sorry when we starts adding more scenes and stuff like that to things like the camera then what will end up happening is that we won't be dealing with any tile maps so if we decided that we wanted to change the cell size so instead of it being 32 by 32 maybe we wanted to <sighs> I do apologize I didn't get much sleep um, yeah if it were 64 by 64 then obviously the camera size would be doubled and that's not something that we want to do so we probably need to uh, cater for that let's say so in here we have a public function new that's going to take three parameters so the first one is going to be a scene right which is going to take a sprite the second one is going to be render width so how much is it going to render on the x-axis and how much is it going to render on the y-axis which is going to be of course render height Oops. let's do super so that we say okay I want a new sprite but that's basically what super is I want to instantiate the base class for this class which in this case is sprite so I'm going to set up a few private variables here I'm going to say private var current scene is equal to sprite and then I'm going to say add child Scene, uh, <coughs> say current scene is equal to scene, and I probably want to 
So now what we've got is this render width and render height. So let's do I want it a public var or a private var? We'll make it a private var actually. Okay, so render width and so float da -da 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 -da. And private var. Render height that's as a float. So down here what we've got is going to be render height is equal to render height and render width is going to be equal to render width when I can finally type. And then what we want to do is actually define our scroll rex and the scroll rex is going to be used to basically allow us to make sure that the camera can only be at this maximum brand render width and render height so i'm just going to type in render width here and render width height render height even um it's so basically all that's oh, what that's basically saying is that we are going to clip the camera object to be specified at zero zero and then whatever the render width is and whatever the render height is right and that is essentially well it won't actually it won't technically be the actual size of the camera the actual size of the camera is actually going to be limited by what children we add to it if you remember in a previous tutorial I can't remember if I mentioned it or not but basically when whenever you add children to a sprite or any other display object container for that matter the width and height is set internally that's why you don't set it yourself normally anyway so what so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say public function and in here what I want to do is I want to be able to resize it so every time we have <clears throat> every time we have a change in what am I trying to say uh, yeah every time we change the size of our window we want to be able to resize things within this particular camera so in order to do that what i'm going to do is i want to resize the scene right and then i also want to redefine the render width and the render height and put that in back and set the scroll rect again so in here what i'm going to do I'm going to say okay I want current scroll X which is a float and current scroll Y now these two variables are basically going to say okay what what's the current location of this scroll rect so we want to be taking that putting it into these variables so that later if we do decide to resize and the scene is currently halfway through your halfway through the level then we want to be able to make sure that the actual the relative location of the scene is still exactly the same as it were before instead of resetting it to zero zero because otherwise we'll end up losing the player and that's not good um, so we're going to say in here so we've got a ratio width and ratio height so what what are these functions done so first of all in here i'm going to say so at the top here i have a private for our camera which is going to be a camera and i'm also going to have four more variables which is going to be defined as ratio x which is going to be in which is going to be a float even not an end private var ratio y private var ratio width and private var ratio 
ですよ。はい。So what we're going to do is we're going to create this camera. So it's going to be a new camera. The default scene is going to be this map here. The render width is going to be this max width and max height. And what I also want to do is I want to place the camera. In the center of the screen so we know that when we do that scroll rex we know that the clipping we, is going to happen with the max width and the max height so when we do the when we do the centering on the screen we're not going to be doing um this minus camera dot width we're not going to do that instead what we're going to do is max width divided by zero because we know that's going to be the sort of restriction let's say we know we know that is in fact going to be the the actual rendered width of the camera and again with this this is going to be the rendered height of the camera that's what the scroll rect is for and once we've done that what we now want to do is we want to be able to specify these ratio x ratio y ratio width and ratio height so the new size and location of this camera so in order to set it up what we're going to do is ratio x is going to be equal to base width divided by camera dot x right so we're basically saying okay i want a floating point number that s basically says what was the point between the top left corner and the X location of the camera and we're going to do that based on the stage width right and the same we're going to do with ratio Y as well so that's going to be base height divided by camera point uh, y yes and then with ratio width what we're going to do is we're going to say okay now i want to know the size of the camera in terms of its percentage as well so we want base <coughs> height base width even in this case divided by camera camera there we go and we actually need the render width and the render height so we can just do max width here and ratio height well that's going to be base height divided by max height like that okay so down here on our resize event what we're going to do is we want to relocate the camera so in this case we're going to do camera.x and we're going to use this ratio x now so this is going to be a percentage of this so now all we want to do is ratio x multiplied by our new stage width and again with the camera dot y so ratio y multiplied by stage dot stage i right and then we've got this resize event so we're going to say camera dot resize and in here we're going to say <coughs> ratio width and ratio height now the reason we're not going to do the operation here is because we actually want to do the operation in the camera and I'll show you why in a moment. So we know this is going to be the ratio width and the ratio height which is why we specified it here like this. And in here what I'm going to say is uh, 
scroll rect is equal to new rectangle. So now what we're going to do is actually use our current scroll x and our current scroll y. And we're actually going to specify the width and height. So in here what I'm going to say is the width is going to be ratio width multiplied by our stage dot stage width and ratio height multiplied by stage dot stage height. Right? Fairly simple. And now what we want to do is we want to actually scale the current scene. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say current scene dot scale x and what we want to do is we want to make sure that if the ratio width and the ratio height are any higher than or what's the best way to explain this so we know that trying to find out the best way um, what we basically want to do is when we resize it we want to make sure that when we scale the current scene it doesn't scale to the point where it then resizes when we return the width back, when we return to ensure that the stage width and the stage height are exactly the same as before, but then if we do an operation on scale x that prevents it from scaling back to where it was before, then what we don't want to do is obviously have this stage width and stage height preventing it from doing anything. So. I'm sort of blabbering and not really making much sense so let me just quickly take a look at something I did this earlier which is why I'm control seeing everything yeah so in here which is what I had previously before I decided to obviously you know change all this so in here what we had is we specified the scale X and the scale Y and what we're doing here is we're saying okay it, if the ratio width is greater than the ratio width divided by stage divided by the stage width then we know that we want to actually specify a new scale for it otherwise we want the scale to be returned to one and the reason why is because one is 100 percent of the original scale right if that makes sense but obviously if it's less then what we want to do is we want to make sure that the ratio that is minus of <laughs> perhaps what would be better is if we actually did it like this So we have this ratio width and the ratio height. So if you remember ratio width and ratio height, that's going to be a percentage. This is the reason why we don't actually make the operation here because otherwise we wouldn't be able to do that. So we know that that's going to be a percentage. It's either going to be one or less than one. So if it's going to be less than one, then we want to be able to add one to it in order for it to scale up if 
the ratio width to the ratio height is in fact more than this if that makes sense so let's, make, let's just make sure I've done all this correctly it still looks that way except I haven't actually added the camera okay so let's go back to our command prompt I'm going to say hey to the burn open FL test project dot xml no, flash bigger so let's build it see the results okay so we've got this bit here the this is it in its original state so when we oh interesting that just decided to break all of a sudden um, maybe specifying that was not a good idea <laughs> uh, okay let's try that again and see what happens Interesting. Is there something in there I messed up as well? <laughs> Earlier? No, I might have to pull it off. Oh, yeah, these were supposed to be the other way around. That's why. Because if you remember, I actually had base width and base height divided by camera X camera.x which is the reason why the ratio was a bit different and now yeah so let's test that because I know that works <laughs> that was the, the original code before I removed it to actually do this tutorial so yeah now it's actually resizing correctly as you can see so we now have a working camera mostly so <laughs> yeah so yeah thank you very much for watching that's a take a look at how to use a camera to specify things like the render width and the render height and then you render a specific portion of the screen and that's and this is very common in RPG games especially traditional RPG games with 32 by 32 bit pixels or whatever so yeah once again thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time